This tutorial is going to cover how to edit the Action Illustrated templates using the Action Pro Studio. We have already installed the Action Pro Studio and imported all of the artwork. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and click on the Template Browser button. This is where we can access all of the Action Illustrated clip art. We can browse through the artwork by volume, or we can do a search for a specific word or keyword. I'm going to type in CDR as in a Corel Draw file extension. This is going to bring up all of the editable templates that I have available in our collection, which you can see is 1,516 templates. These templates do also come in an EPS format, but we're going to want to use the CDR format templates. So I can just scroll through here and grab a design that I like. going to open right up inside of Corel Draw, and then we're going to click on the template editor button which will allow us to change the text, the character, and the color of this design. Notice the words that are in my design are actually just typed off to the side right here. So you can just type in what you want your design to say. I'm going to change Dave's into Action and Drag's into Illustrated. Here I'm going to change customs into clip art, hot rods into templates, and more into software. The last thing I'm going to do is change the since 1981 to since 2000. When I hit update, you're going to see that all of my text has changed in my design, but it still keeps the same look as before. You can change the font if you would like right over here. You just choose which line of font this illustrated, so this illustrated, and click on the text font. Here I can choose a different font. The list of fonts that's coming up here is actually generated from all of the fonts I have installed on my computer, so my entire font collection is right here for me to choose. I can just scroll through here and choose one, or I can type in a font if I know the name of it. Once I have my selection, hit OK, and you're going to see that my font's going to be changed. Notice that I can click on different objects in my design. To replace one of these, I just go ahead and select it, and then I'm going to hit Replace under Groups. That's going to bring us back to where we can browse through the artwork. I'm going to do a search for Tiger. This is going to bring up all 515 tiger images that I have in our collection. Just scroll through here and find a tiger that I like. And hit OK. It's going to replace the car with the tiger that I have just chosen. If I click on him, I can actually size him up or down and rotate him right inside the template editor window. I can also flip this guy if I want, but I think he looks better the other way. Now that I have updated the image, we can change the colors in the design. So I'm going to want this design to primarily be a black and orange design. So let's start with this blue color. I'm going to click on the blue swatch, click and hold down and drag it into the black swatch. When I let go of my mouse button, it's going to change all of the blue in my design into black. So now you can see I have a yellow and a pink in here. I'm going to quickly merge those together by dragging the pink and dropping it into the yellow to make them into one color. And then I'm actually going to change the yellow into a half tone of the orange. If I hover over this orange color, I can see that it's a Pantone Orange 021. I'm going to click on this yellow swatch and then hit Replace. If I know my color name or number, I can just type it in here, or I can scroll through and grab it. I happen to know that this Pantone Orange is right up top. I'm going to go ahead then under here and drag my tint color down and make it about half of the normal, make it into 50. Go ahead and hit OK. So in my main color box here, you're going to see that I have the black and the orange, but over here on the right hand side, 
It shows me how many different kinds of orange I have. So I have 50% Pantone orange, as well as areas where there's 100% Pantone orange. So let's condense the last of the colors. You'll notice I have two different whites in my design. I'm gonna go ahead and merge those two together as well. This design looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. It's gonna take me back into Corel Draw. I can still adjust anything I want to in here. So it's like I'm gonna grab my tiger and move them over to the left a little bit. This design looks great. This is ideal for direct to garment, sublimation, or two color screen printing. However, we have other color options inside the template editor that we're gonna go back and look at. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo this and take it back to our original design. There we go, I'm gonna go ahead and click back on my template editor again. So you see right down here in my color options, I actually have a convert to grayscale and a convert to black and white. Let's do the grayscale option first. I'm just gonna bypass the text and imagine this says Action Illustrated. And I'm gonna swap out the car here for that same tiger again. And the reason I'm doing that specifically is because I want to bring up more colors in here. I want to make it so I have too many colors in my design. Perfect. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hit convert to grayscale. Now I can see I have one color in my design. It's a Pantone black. And that I have many different tint percentages within the design. This is all still editable. Uh, two. So even though this is great for engraving or one color screen print uh, where you can burn half tones on your screens, you notice that this design doesn't have any like 100% black. So if I want to go ahead and click on this one, I'm going to hit replace on this side. This was a 92% black just to take it all the way to 100% black just because I want my tiger really to pop out here. This is how the convert to grayscale works. The nice thing about it is it, it does default to a black, but I can go ahead and click on replace with this side and choose a different color. So if I'm doing a one color print job that needs half tones in a different color, I would also use the convert to grayscale. So let's go ahead and reset this. So I'm going to show you the next option, which is the convert to black and white. It's best to know from the start that you're planning to do a solid one color design. So let's say this time I'm planning to do a one color design with a solid color. I'm gonna replace this car again with the tiger. But this time I'm going to grab the black and white version. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and convert to black and white. So now this is perfect uh, design here for a screen print with one color. Um, this also is still editable, like I can click on this, hit replace, and choose a new color. So this is ideal for a one color screen print job. So that's how the template editor works. We're going to instantly be able to change text, images, and colors.